everyone. My name is Murray, and this is my first ever video on YouTube. Um, so yeah, today um, I'm just gonna let you watch this video of um, me painting this um, Victorian sort of girl um, in watercolors, and I'm also gonna have a little chat with you about me and um, the new channel. So let's dive right in. So to start off with, I'm so sorry if my voice sounds high pitched. For some reason, when I like talk in a video or talk or like record something, my voice goes a lot higher than it actually is, and I I listen to it and I think it's really cringy. <laughs> but um, but yeah, off of that subject. Um, so I'm really interested in art, and um, that's why. And I've been watching art videos on YouTube for a really long time. Um, like Doodle Day. Drawing with Waffles, Magician Bell, they're all some really good artists that I watch on YouTube and I've always wanted to make a little YouTube channel but there was just something holding me back and I think I was a little bit worried about, a uh, bit frightened about the idea of it being so everyone can see it. But then recently my cousin here, um, George, um, who on YouTube is called George Furness, um, created a channel. At, um, Nothing like an art channel or anything, but he talked and he done voiceovers, and I just thought, if he can do it, then why can't I give it a try? So I did. Um, by the way, if you're interested in Rocket League, look up George Furness, who he'll come up, um, but I'll leave a link in the description. Um, so I decided to create this channel, um, and I, yeah, I'm quite pleased about, about the whole thing, and I'll probably upload definitely once a week, but I'll might want to upload a bit more than just that because it's all quite exciting. Um, but yeah, um, and I am um, I'm currently working on um, not doing as much art as I would because I've currently went back to school. So it's all sort of, haven't had much time recently, but I'm really getting back into the swing of things and there'll be loads of art being shared. Um, my Instagram is um, called Boring Drawer, so um, you can go check out some stuff on there. There'll probably be a post about um, this YouTube channel to get my my followers on there to come over here. But yeah, so about the picture, um, I decided to draw the Victorian girl because I'm very interested in history. That's another thing I'm really interested in. And I decided to watercolour it. Um, I I am... Um, I filmed the sketch, but it was the video. Even in this time, even though it's a bit time lapsed, it still was really long. So I decided just to cut it short and go for the watercolors only. And that was a, I think that was a good decision, but it's still really long. So I don't know how I'm going to find loads of things to talk about. Um, but yeah, I was doing this in my um, little studio, which. It sounds posh, but but it is just um, my shed. But I've but we've converted it so that we've moved everything out the way. We put a curtain up. We put my desk in there. We put shelves up. So it is like a proper little studio. But um, yeah, I go down there a lot to do my art. It's where all my stuff is. So I kind of so I go down there to get all that as well. Um, and I um I normally work with markers in my art, but. Today and recently I've been starting to use a lot more watercolours because I've been practising with them and I've found out that I do, I can control them quite well and I can shade with them and I can be patient enough to let them dry. So that's what I've been doing a lot recently but there will be some marker stuff on here because I can't bear to not use my lovely markers. In fact I did use some markers in this to go for some of the little details um, but I'll talk about the supplies a bit later. and. Yeah, about the colours. So, I wanted to go for quite um, matching colours, um, quite close combination at f first. And I'd added these little frilly bits, so I wasn't really sure what that colour would be. But I knew that I kind of wanted some kind of yellowy green, so I made that the sort of under colour. So on her dress, there's like a um, a stripe almost through it. That's it, that colour. And under this frilly bit on her dress, it's that colour. And I wanted some gold in there because I thought she's quite a rich person. Um, and her facial expression, for some reason, 
I just draw loads of sad facial expressions um, because I don't I don't really have a reason for it. I just like to draw sad facial expressions. Um, so I don't really know what she's sad about. Maybe you could maybe you could comment some reasons for her to be sad. Maybe it's the fact that she's such a bad drawing. No. I mean, it's not the best drawing I've ever done, but it's still quite good. I'm quite proud of it. Um, and, yes, in the drawing right now, I am shading. Just, uh, it's so hard because you don't want to leave the camera because it, but you, so you have to sort of be patient, though, at the same time with the watercolours. So I just, just, so I'm on the shading now, and it's bleeding a little bit, but oh well. Um... Um, and for her skin, the skin, um, skin something I really struggled to mix colours for, but recently I've been getting a bit better at it. I know what colours to mix it with and it's all been working out quite well. Um, and I mostly do draw people, yep, I mostly draw people, um, so it comes as second nature, drawing my face. <laughs> oh, that was a little mistake, I had to use the tissue to cover that bit up because, um, you don't want it to be too overpowering, and it still is a bit overpowering. So, which is what, but in the end, I, while well, waiting for it to dry so I could film, um, film the finished piece dried, I ended up just dabbing it with the tissue because I couldn't wait any longer. <laughs> um, so, yes. Um, other things. Uh, a lot of them... Um, I just like to do a few recommendations if you're here because um, you like art or it's an or, um, or if you're just here to support or anything um, I'd like to recommend the channels Drawing with Waffles, uh, Doodle Date, Semi Skin Mim, Bailey J and Magician Bell. I'll probably link them in the description. But those are some of the artists that um, I look at and really like, and they helped help me sort of um, create my own style because there have been times where I've literally drawn the exact same as each of them, a bit worse, but but I've sort of moulded them all together, and it's created an art style that I'm pleased with. So that's a good thing, um, and also if you um, if you're interested in um, like her videos about um, just funny videos, uh, then I'd recommend Joe Sugg. Um, who else? Casper Lee, Ollie White, they're all good YouTubers. Um, and of course my cousin George. He He's a smart dude and he knows how to play Rocket League, that's all I'll say. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so and now I'm going in with my pens to add the little details because I knew that they would bleed too much and I was actually quite surprised because although the alcohol based markers, for some reason the water still affected them a little bit, made them a bit um, pale. You'll see it in the hair. I used a brown marker and it started to go a little bit like a like a Crayola marker. Um, but yes, that is the picture. So um, this is a... Uh, so we're coming towards the end now. Uh, there's still, still got the necklace and the hair to do and the eyes but apart from that this picture was coming on done oh and the background I've done a little bit of a blue background because I like I like to add something in the background because having it completely white is a little bit boring um so then what am I doing right now in this video um can't see it on camera can you um oh I'm add now I'm adding in the hair um in fact, in fact, I'm going to take a little challenge. Guess what kind of pen that is. And you'll see if you're right at the end. It's nothing you post in the comments or anything. But I want to see if uh, who knows their stuff about pens like I do. <laughs> um, and by the way, if you're from my Instagram, if you came from Instagram, thank you so much. Um, and uh, thank you for... And if you're here... Because you're not even interested in art, but you saw that I was making a YouTube channel. That's very kind of you. So, thank you. Um, and, yes, the... Oh, you can see it in the hair. You see that little patch? It was... You can see it better in real life, but... It was... For some reason, it just went really bad. And I even tried using watercolours to cover it. 
uh, but that ended up bleeding into the skin. So, um, <laughs> my dad's pulling a funny face in the window. Um, <laughs> can't stop laughing at him now. But, yes, I, a bit about me for the next minute. Uh, I'm quite young. I've just got into secondary school. Um, and that's been, like I said, that's been really busy because... Everything sort of changes from primary school to secondary school. It all sort of a. Uh, it all sort of. It's very different. Like you only have one teacher in primary school, but here we've got all the different ones, and it's a lot bigger and it's a big change. So, it's sort of. It's sort of. Um, I was so tired after a while that I wasn't even doing my art for that long. But yes, oh, and we're moving on to the materials now. So I used um, a cheap pen from Lidl, a rub. A, rubber, some student grade watercolours by Winsor & Newton, um, a cheap brush, two Spectrum, Spectrum Noir markers and a Copic. Um, and here's the finished piece. Um, I'm quite proud of it. The paper's a bit wrinkly because I didn't use any proper watercolour paper. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye guys!